Good morning, welcome to the garden and what's growing on? Well, these are done. That's the Ancestor Keyless, this is done blooming. And so basically what I'm going to do is take off all the old bloom spikes and get this ready for it to start throwing out new growth and all that nice stuff. Um, once you start seeing new growth on these guys, that's the time you want to either A, repot it or mount it or whatever. And so those new growths can actually start shooting the roots out into the new media. So um, just a little tip there. Um, to me, it's kind of an ugly plant unless it's, you know, um, actively growing. And then it's absolutely a stunning plant on its own. But uh, once the uh, leaves fall on this guy, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird looking to me as it's a little Hershey Kisses things on it. But uh, the blooms are nonetheless glorious on this. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I got my scissors sterilized and... No rocket science here, you don't know, with this. Just uh, sterilize your scissors, uh, let the alcohol dry on it, and then um, what you want to do from there is just prune them off. Snip them off towards the base of the uh, pseudobulbs here. So, neat plant, though. And I'm glad I got one. But, uh, yeah, once you start seeing new growths, um, if you've got any growths like the pseudobulbs, if they're mushy, like I watched in Terry's video, you definitely want to remove those because those could uh, pose a you know, minor issues, you know, with the rot going on on them. So you don't want that to spread into the good parts of the plant. So I always remove those. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rock this out and we'll be back. And I'm expecting a new plant in today. I've got pots set up and lava rock media. Um, it's a dendrobium, an Australian species, and it's a, both an epiphyt and a lithophyte. So, and we'll talk about that when it's due in here, or comes in. And that should be any time now. It's supposed to be here between 9.30 and 10.30. So, anyway, I'm going to rock this out, and we'll be back with uh, probably the new dendrobium. Okie dokie, done deal. That looks a lot better. Actually, the pseudobulbs are kind of neat looking on this, guys. They look like those little Hershey Kisses, but, uh, yeah, this was a great bloom this year on that, and they lasted well over a month, so I'm really pleased with this plant. It's a keeper, so. All right, we'll be back when um, the new dendrobium gets in, and we shall see you then with an unboxing and potting. Yes, we're going to be potting it. And it's a rather large dendrobium species also. Okay, guys, while I'm waiting on this orchid to get in, I figured I would do a clip here with some blooms that have opened up. This is the uh, Lelia lundii. These blooms are about the size of a dime. Um, anything smaller than that, and I would not grow it, so I'll step back so you can see it, the whole plant. But yeah, anything smaller than that, I'm not going to grow it. That's not even worth my time to grow, but these are okay. I like them. Not fragrant. And these little orangey stars up here are just, I just absolutely adore those. Those are absolutely gorgeous uh, blooms. Um, we had a few blooms. These blooms are fading on the Kalili Beauty, the Vanda Motes uh, Kalili Beauty here. And we got some blooms coming on the Phalaenopsis Chilriana. Um, I don't know what's up with that leaf. It kind of come out deformed. Um, yeah. So, um, and of course the Green Goblin is just that butterscotchy kind of color on there with the purple and white lip is just, I love it. And it smells good too. It smells like grandma's grape jelly. So anyway, um, I told you guys the plectral menthus is getting a spike, we'll take a look at that. So okay, here's the uh, plectral menthus. Let's see if we can show you that spike coming down in there. Check that out. Yeah, that's a spike coming in the plectral menthus caudatus. Really happy about that. Um, you know, blooming so soon after I got it. And, but Tran did tell me, he said, you know, give it good feed, and he said it should bloom for you this year. So, 
Um, it'll probably, being this is an angrecoid, it'll probably take a while for that spike to develop. Um, you know, like other angrecoids and stuff. So, anyway, when the orchid gets here, we'll continue the video. Not much else going on. Um, I brought my air plants up to assess them and I'm um, thinking about a new mount for them other than this uh, palm bloom. Uh, it's a sheath off of a palm tree bloom. So anyway, I'm thinking about getting something for that to uh, mount them onto or whatever. We'll see about it. Alright guys, we'll be back. I'll be back uh, when the uh, uh, new orchid gets here. So, Alright, we'll see you then. Alright guys, it's finally here, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of the box and not muck about with it, and we'll come back and repot it. Well, one good thing is I didn't get a million packing peanuts fly everywhere on this video, so um, that's an added plus. Anyway, these guys are, um, well, hold on, let me uh, get the name. Anyway, they're B&D orchids out of uh, Bowling Green, South Carolina. They're a YouTube, not a YouTube, a uh, brain fart, um, an eBay seller. I think it's Orchids Forever on eBay. So anyway, they had a good deal on that, so I got it, and uh, I'm going to open it up for you guys. All right, guys, that is the new Dendrobium. I've seen better grown plants and it's in moss. We're going to get it out of the moss. And it is Dendrobium nendii. That is an Australian species. It's a hot grower. Um, it's from northern Australia and sparsely in New Guinea. Um, like I said, it's a warm grower. It's an epiphyte or a lithophyte. I'm going to grow mine as a lithophyte in lava rock. Um, it is salt tolerant because it's on the coast and it hangs off of cliffs or on mangroves and it's used to saltwater spray so you know uh, usually blooms from uh, summer into winter um, the flowers are antelope type uh, dendrobium or it's also called the Australian blue antelope orchid um, so uh, purple yeah it's purple so I'll put up some pics and we'll come back and we'll see this puppy potted up and ready to rock and roll in Todd's Tropicals here. So anyway, um, yeah, here's the pics, a few pics. And um, yeah, I hope you like the uh, new orchid. We have another one of these on the way from a different seller also. So anyway, let me get this done, guys. done with the uh, repotting here and I did it in the lava rock so hopefully we will get some new growth coming on that a little bit desiccated looking but that's okay and I got another little pot here to put it in it looks better than this just an old green pot so there we go how's that alrighty guys love and peace keep it growing and we'll see you on the flip side when the other it's the same species, Dendrobium nendii, from Australia, so. Alrighty, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Keep it growing, guys. Bye-bye.